I hope that all of y'all are having a good day. Um, the chromatic cube is on arena right now. And this is something that uh, a lot of old school magic players love. It comes with a huge variety of old and very powerful cards. Um, this cube is infamous. I would say this is a very popular cube. It comes up a lot and those that played or have been playing magic for a while, find it very fun to draft these old powerful cards all in one cube. Um, a cube is basically for anyone that doesn't know, it's like a designed, um, card pool that you play in draft formats so there's cubes people make cubes in real life they're like you can buy these really cute um kind of resealing packages so that it fakes like you're opening up a booster pack um generally you design a cube to be balanced so that there's multiple different play styles multiple different um decks to be built out of the cards within them but a lot of people have a cube on hand to draft with their friends and chromatic cube is an old school very popular draft or cube format that comes up a lot because it has a lot of people's favorite cards ever in it it uh i can just jump back to the card pool um it has lots of classics that are recent and it has um, a lot of stuff from newer sets that kind of swap out with the older cards that were less powerful. Overall, this is like trying to maintain a balance uh, between all of the color pairings. Um, there's lots of different decks to be built in this cube. I wonder if they say any of the for more information including the full list of cards in this format click here i don't actually know how to build chromatic cube so let's just see if we can quickly find maybe a list of archetypes okay here we go um browser yeah. Um. So yeah, the archetypes for Chromatic Cube are White Blue Blink. There's Thassa and Cloud Blazer, Soul Tender, Blue Black Thievery. Play your opponent's cards. You love to see it. Black Red Sacrifice. Red Green Stompy, which looks terrifying. Halana and Elena with Terror of the Peaks and Howl Pack Piper. Green White Tokens, White Black Aristocrats. Um, blue Red Storm seems cool. Black Green Graveyard. Red White Historic Aggro. Ooh, Ember Cleave. Astor, Bearer of Blades. Green Blue Lands Matter, Five Color Dream with Tiamat and Maelstrom Angel. I actually opened a Maelstrom Angel recently. Um, yeah. It says, of course, there are many other build around cards just waiting for you to draft and see what you can make out of them. Obviously, um, these archetypes aren't like a necessity. You don't have to play these archetypes, but these are the decks. Again, the chromatic cube has been around for a while and keeps being updated. It's played very often. Um, so there's lots of standards that you can build around, but the chromatic cube is a phantom draft. So you don't get to keep any of these really powerful cards. 
Which is why I won't be putting gems or coins into the chromatic cube. Instead, what we're going to do is a bot draft. It keeps playing this Burger King commercial with four hamburger patties. Damn. Well, I know there's a Burger King in Merida, so I've been there and they make delicious, gross concoctions. I know for a fact. A little late night Burger King action on vacation. Been there, done that. Um, so because it's a phantom draft and we don't get to keep any of the cards anyway, I'm just going to do this, which is the midweek magic promotional event. Um, this week, which they do every Wednesday, is a phantom bot draft. So we will be drafting against bots, but I'm not flushing any money away or any in-game currency away. In order to play this, um, you don't get to keep the cards in the regular version of this draft anyway. So we can just draft, have some fun. We do get to play against other humans. Uh, we're just drafting against bots. Um, which are supposedly, I've heard, way harder to draft with because they know there's a long algorithm that they use to judge what card to take and what card to leave. And they're a lot more accurate than humans. So apparently this is harder, but again, I've never done chromatic cube draft. And this is, I can enter as many times as I want. I can do this draft a hundred times if I'd like. I have 15 hours to play this as many times as I want. So we're going to do a couple, see how it goes. I don't know everything that's in this deck. I've also not played with 90% of the cards in Chromatic Cube. So it's going to be a learning curve no matter what. Bot draft, so we don't have to wait, but also we don't have a time limit. You'll notice there's no time countdown um, because it's draft. As soon as I pick a card, I'm going to get the next pack, uh, which is good. So we've got some pretty big stuff right out the gate in pack one. Cyber Siphoner, which is an arena card, uh, is a two blue blue two two human ninja with flash. The spell costs two less to cast if there are no instants or sorcery cards in your hand. When it enters the battlefield, return instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. If Cyber Siphoner would die, shuffle it into its owner's library instead. It's pretty good. It's kind of like Torrential Gear Hulk. Um, speaking of Torrential Gear Hulk, there's Combustible Gear Hulk. First Strike 6-6. Six, six. Uh, when it ETBs, target opponent may have you draw three cards. If the player doesn't, you mill three cards. Then Combustible Dealer Gear Hulk deals damage to that player equal to the total mana value of those three cards. Pretty crazy. And we've got uh, a D&D Zerial Planeswalker. Some aggro stuff. Prosper Tomebound, which is interesting because this is a exile, play things from exile type card. Brutal Cathar, which is really good. Clone Crafter, also really good. Um, ooh, Sedgemore, which is fun. Double vision. Okay. And then we've got some removal. Pretty. Oh, Gilded Goose. We can make a food deck. Um, I don't really know what to pick. I feel like I kind of just want to pick top. Prosper. Cyber Siphoner is also really good. Let's pick uh, Prosper and see where we go. We're still wide open. And we've got no blue or no red or black in the top choices here. So we've got Crater Hoof Behemoth, which is an insane card. Uh, when it ETBs, creatures you control gain plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. We've got Hydro Hydroid Crasis. A jellyfish hydra, hydra beast. When you cast this spell, you gain half X life and draw half X cards round down. 
enters with X11 counters on it. Pretty crazy. I've got Witherbloom Command, Fey of Wishes. You may reveal a non-creature card from you, that you own from outside the game and put it into your hand. Discard two cards, return Fey of Wishes to its owner's hand. Interesting. Um, I feel like we kind of just take this and see where the wind takes us. Ooh. Okay, so we've got... So now we're kind of looking at, you know, anything in these two wheelhouses. Do we want to do big creatures or do we want to do spells? Um, Niv-Mizzet is very good for spells. Ravager Worm has Riot. And it kills something. We've got Blink. Got Krenko. The Dire Hunt. Whenever one or more creatures you control fight or become blocked, draw a card. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may pay two and one of those two colors. If you do double target creature's power till end of turn, that creature must be blocked this combat if able. I feel like that's fun. I feel like maybe we just do a... Oh, there's also an Elvish Mystic. I feel like we just kind of lean into green. And of course, as soon as I say that, there's zero green cards. Uh, um... Whenever Raise Boar attacks, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and atta attacking. Return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. Um, when it dies or is put into exile from the battlefield, you may put it into its owner's library third from the top. I mean, that's pretty aggro. We're just doing like creature aggro stuff. Parallel lives. Oh, man. That's pretty big. We've got... Uh, Skull Prophet is good. Captivating Crew is interesting. Sanctuary Warden is just a, such a good card. Chupacabra is awesome. I think I might take Parallel Lives in it. the hope that we... Oof. Omnath? Red, green, white, blue. And we've got a Cavalier of Flames. Creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, and gain haste until end of turn. When it enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. When it dies, it deals X damage to each opponent. So this is the easy pick. This is aggro, it's creature, it's a big creature. So we're gonna need to like start getting cheap with our picks. Um, but Omnath is a little crazy. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. If this is the first time this ability has resolved this turn, if it's the second time, add red, green, white, blue to your mana pool. If it's the third time, Omnath deals four damage to each opponent. And each planeswalker you don't control. I feel like that's the nuts. Let's take this. If we can stay... Ooh... Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. You may cast it without paying its mana cost if it's a spell with lesser or equal mana value. Okay, not great. Cut to ribbons. Cut deals for damage. Aftermath. Each opponent loses X life. Fight with fire deals 5 damage to target creature. If it was kicked, it deals 10 damage divided as you choose amongst any number. I mean, I mean, this is pretty good. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. I mean, that's crazy good with Omnath. 
I would love to take any of these lands, but... Okay, this is our pack one. So, Gearhulk wield. But also, Fey Burrow Elder is really interesting. Lantern of Revealing is also an uh, any mana mana rock, which is pretty good. Um, okay, I feel like we're not we're not too worried about creatures right now. Search your library for two basic land cards, then put them on the battlefield shuffle. That's also very good with Omnath. Um, we've got a... Oh my god, the Elvish Mystic Wield? Okay. Soul Herder is interesting. Tropical Brew. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Doing good. That's good. That is good. Add one mana of any color. Okay. We just want to get Omnath down, really. Destroy target non-land permanent at, and all others. Paradise Thopter is solid. Yeah, a lot of these things I've never played with before, so... I'm kind of learning, I'm kind of going um, one step at a time. I don't... I have to take it, but I don't really care. Hmm. Oh my god, Elder Dragon War? Alvar is interesting. Starnheim Dream Eater. Ooh. I don't want blue, though. I think I'd rather take the Spara's headquarters. I'm not sure what the bots... Um, prioritize. So. While I'd love to take something like the artisan here. Not a great pack. Yeah, not for, not for Omnath. That's for sure. meters okay i think i'm gonna take the spars headquarters so i can focus on my green red and then be able to splash omnath easier we've got a green red dual land but we've also got urabrask which is pretty good gives us an extra card every turn Solemn Simulacrum is also okay. Um, Angel and Finale and Jin Katak. Oh, I love this card so much. Re really, it's between... Um, actually, you know what? Beanstalk Giant might be really good, too. Hopefully Beanstalk Wheels, because I think we take Urbrask or Atsushi. Do we take the Fire Sausage or the Phyrexian? I feel like the Fire Sausage is a bit better. There's also that pathway that I would really love, but... Uh, I think we take the fire sausage. Actually, Ginny Faye might even be interesting too, but I don't have a lot of token makers right now. I do have parallel lives, so. 
Hmm. I don't know. What do you think, Tropical? My picks are between Fire Sausage, Urbrask, or maybe even Ginny Fay. I think Beanstalk Giant might wheel. What colors? Omnath is everything but black. I don't know what this uh, color... I don't think... Do the four colors have names? I don't think they do. So Ginny Fay fits. I can pay triple green even. And I have parallel lives, which I took in at like pick four in pack one. So parallel lives and Ginny Fay is a pretty nasty combo. Red dragon that makes treasure. Yeah. I think, I think I'm going to take Ginny Fay. I feel like if we kind of back away from the Omnath, oh my God, Great Hinge. Great Hinge though. Where do we take the turn timber? Oh, OG Shieldred. Oh my God. This is what's hard about playing um, these cube drafts, is that these are so good. Oh, actually, World Tree. Okay, Great Henge or World Tree? Henge without a doubt. Maybe World Tree comes all the way around. Again, I'm not like super solid. Ooh. I'm not super solid on what the bots are looking for, what they prioritize. Hmm. I mean, I could take Niv Mizzet. Reveal the top 10 cards of your library for each color pair. Choose a card that's exactly those colors from among them. Oh, that's not going to be good, actually. Um, I think then I take one of these dualies. What do I have so far? I have Sparas. I have Great Hands to give me blue. Or black, or green, sorry. I said every color other than the one I needed. Elvish Mystic for green. So maybe I take the Temple of Malice. Key can help fix. Oh, this guy? Oh, I didn't even... I did not read the whole card. You're right. It can help fix, very much so. Uh, we get a Nickel Bolas. Um, Abundance is really good. I mean, Craig is just... Craig is just the nuts for us right now. Yeah. I always worry about my fixing too late and wind up uh, screwing myself a little bit, but Agnum Opus is interesting. Oh, Silumgar. I love Silumgar. Kenneth worked out for you? Yeah. Ken Kenrith? Seemed a bit slow. Yeah. I mean, it's just a good, like, build-around card, right? Especially in Commander, you can play all colors. I'm thinking I might just take the Lanawar Elves, though. 
either that or a dual land like i just i need to get out of the one to two mana ratio really quickly in order to do anything oh tireless tracker that's really good if we're playing omnath we're going to be playing a lot of lands each turn Cavalier of Thorns. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of your library. Put a land card from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your graveyard. When it dies, you may exile it. If you do, put another target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Interesting. There's also Domri. Very good back in its day, yeah. What is it from? M20. I'm sure it's older than that, no? Hmm. Domri's interesting, but I think... Oh my, I have so many big creatures, like... I have two five drops, I have an eight drop, and a nine drop. I mean, obviously, Great Henge gets cheaper, but... Yeah, F it. Let's do it. Okay, this is pack one. Champion of Ronus. You may exert Champion of Ronus as it attacks. When you do, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh. Well, that's interesting. There's also a pathway and a catacomb. I feel like if we just lean green. Okay, beanstalk giant wield, so this is good. This is early fixing and a big creature. Mindstone. Wow, do we, can we do any of these well? Mindstone, I guess. Sacrifice to draw a card. Niv-Mizzet came all the way around. I mean, rabbit batteries, a one drop. We got a dual land and big score. I'll take the big score because it automatically gives me that, uh, treasure I need. Alesha who smiles at death. Whenever Alesha attacks, you may pay Orzov Orzov. If you do, return target creature card with mana value power two, two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. Damn. And I would have to pay white or black. I mean, that probably will get cut. But, oh my god, Terror of the Peaks. Oof. Oh, and a Hoffrey? I didn't know Hoffrey was in this set. Great pack with a vivid Paradise Druid, even. Ophiomancer? I love this card. Oh, Soren. Vengeful Bloodlord. I don't know, Vivian or Terror. I would love to build a Hoffrey deck in Arena. That'd be so much fun. Um, oh, even Ottawara. Like, I would be happy with that. Terror or Vi Vivian is... You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast creature spells from the top. I think Terror for pick one. Yeah. Create a 3-3 three, three green beast. Put your choice of Vigilance Reach or Trample on it. When you cast your next creature spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with me. That's intense. Um, I think you're right, though. Terra's going to deal a lot of damage, like, just by being out there. Toxrail? Oh, no. I wish I was playing black. I love that card. It's easy, Lanawar. Loam Speaker here, though. 
two mana taps for any color. Shark Typhoon? Why did we pick... Why did we go green creatures on this draft? I could just... These are all my favorite things. Black, blue shenanigans. All of my favorite things. It's a good thing it's phantom. Otherwise, I'd be just like taking all the cards I want in my collection. And that would be bad. Ooh, Salvala. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, its controller may draw a card if its power is greater than each other creature's power. Pay green, tap it to add X mana in any combination of colors where X is the greatest power. Oh my god. We're just ramping like crazy. I know there's other good picks in here. Uh, Soul Canar is even really good. Escape to the Wilds is really good, but uh, we're just doing the ramp things. Boseju, Terra Sunder is really oh the good Tatiova. The good Tatiova is interesting. Frankel. Oh, I like hostage taker too. Can you tell what? Can you tell what I normally play in Magic? I'm like, oh, Hullbreaker, hostage taker. We're taking the Besaju. That's too good of a land. Yamat, cultivate, Beast Whisper, Diviner of Fates. Okay, playing. I need to settle down. Settle down. Playing cube is just like candy. Every pack is candy. Um, I mean, I have to play Cultivate, right? Beast Whisper is really good. There's another Triome, too. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I could just put two of each... Oh. Whoa. Explore. Chromatic Lantern. Could do the namesake. Zakama, though. How many? We have 18 creatures currently. As much as I want to take Sakama, Chromatic Lantern is the better pick. Removal, yeah. You are right. Rip apart. Phyrexian Metamorph, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, friend. Uh, Timeless Witness. Damn. Growth Spiral. Actually. What is this song? This song needs to chill. And by chill, I mean go away. What? A one mana one one that creates five five dragons at every end step? That's a real card? Okay. Okay, so we can't cultivate for Ottawara. So we're probably not going to play it. I wish there was some removal in that pack. Unburial Rites is interesting. 
There's just not a lot of removal in general. Search for Azcanta. Um, I mean, I don't really want any of these. Terra Sunder's good. Actually, is Coligan's command better? Choose two. Return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Target player discards a card. Destroy target artifact or deal two damage to any target. And this is... Pay to exile target artifact or enchantment. If it was kicked, exile any permanent, any non land permanent. I mean, command might be better. Tiamat. Uh, explorer, sure. Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward, but we have tons of ramp, which is good. Um, okay, let's see. So we're definitely playing our dorks. Cultivate, Dryad, Sylvana, Harrow's not bad, Seiju, Tracker, Champion, Cavalier, Parallel Lives, Behemoth, Stalker Giant, Great Hinge, Paradise Druid. God, we almost have a full deck with just green stuff. I mean, I don't know that we're making a ton of tokens. So maybe we take Parallel Lives out. We can splash Omnath because we have Revealing, we have Ornithopter, Lantern, Legends, and Key. I mean, is green ramp to Omnath even good? We want to play stuff like Terror, don't we? So we need to cut down a bit. Maybe we take Harrow out. Champion just seems way too good. Nyeth isn't fantastic. We do like terror. Fight with fire is really good. Dragon Master outcast. And raise. Um, OK, 
Okay, I feel like if we're put, just put put all of the removal in my deck and then take a step back. I would need to splash black and white. But I have how many add any color? One, two, three, four, five, six. Potentially all. Seven. I have seven tap for any color. So if I put What am I at? 18 lands? Okay. So if I do one of each of these. You have a couple multicolor lands left to go in? Yeah. Oh, right. Um, and I forgot the Mind Stone. I don't even know if I'm going to play Mind Stone, but... Um... Yeah, okay, this is our colors, this is off color, this is off color. So we have 18 lands if we remove one of the green. Because these two both tap for green. I want to keep one basic of the other three in just for stuff like Explore. Or cultivate. That means we need to we need to remove five cards. I think Mindstone goes. Um. I think Pulse goes. I feel like one of our one drop dorks can go. Elves can go. I like Mystic over Elves. Lanoir Elves is. Well, Elvish Mystic is just nicer. This deck really needs a Ren in seven. So, because this is my first chromatic cube, is this like what it's always like? Do you always just get one of everything? Like you can never double up on stuff? Is that just always how it goes? Usually don't play cube, okay. Um, I only have three leg or four legendary creatures, so maybe Relic of Legends can go? I don't know. Champion cheats things onto the battlefield, so I gotta keep that. Legion Grove turns all of my lands into everything. Tireless Tracker activates on land entry... Savala. We are getting kind of low on creatures, though. Um. Oh, this is tough. Ooh. 
What is this KK slider stuff? Chill, KK. I mean, do we play 16 lands with this crazy ramp deck? This is so hard. We could also just play a 42 card deck. Let's find some sleeves. I'm kind of thinking the black Kaldheim. But right now I have the Junji Ito one set as my default and they're just so good. find it easier to add than cut yeah well i added too many is my problem tropical brew <laughs> i added too many um these junji ito ones are just way too good well you can't see them because they're behind my head So good. Junji Ito is effed up and I like it. I'm also a big fan of these uh, Kaldheim ones. We can stick with Junji. Um, Omnath about it. Taking legends out. Relic is gone. Um, let's just give it a whirl. This is my first chromatic trap. This is my first time seeing or playing, not seeing, playing with many of these cards. I see them a lot. I don't play a lot of older formats. I just don't have the collection. Um, play a lot of standard and newer stuff. Um, so we've got a two lander, mana fixing, Terror of the Peaks, and Crater of the Behemoth. I mean, at this point, as long as we draw one more land, we can cast anything. <laughs> Unless they have removal, of course. One more land, there we go. Yeah, they are nice. I want to set... I want to be able to set default lands, but... Uh, can't do that quite yet. Oh. Approach. All right. We're doing it. Discard a card. Um. Let's get rid of our removal. Be a little weird. Let's be a little weird about it, shall we? I want to set the default lands to the... I like the planet ones. Wow. Absolutely blew me out. Okay. I mean, I would say gross, but I also have that card in my deck, so... <laughs> Black market connections. All right. Dryad is good. Do we just Terror of the Peaks and then next turn 
dryad or do we dryad now? What's Terror of the Peaks? Oh, this format is so weird. It's like... Oh, nice. Nice. This is just like bonkers the board game. Um, no thanks. I know that some people build decks that work together, but I'm just like, how do we pick big shit and how do we cast big shit as fast as possible? This guy's got all the removal in the world. I haven't been able to keep anything on the board. Oh. Okay. I mean, I can't do anything, so... Wait, how did I gain so much life? Oh. Do they do exactly 10, though? Yeah. Oh, they don't. We're alive. Lol. Yeah, it's just one of those things. If your opponent has tons of removal, then, uh... GG. It would have been cool if I was able to kill him there, but, uh... Come on, do all of them. Oh. Their deck worked really well together. Plenty of removal. Chupacabra's really good. They even got a Lolth, which is great. Black Market Connections on turn three, though. That's really good. Really good, really fun. I mean, this is just one of those situations where I'm not really, like, bothered by losing at all. It's like, this is so weird and janky that... How can you be upset if you lose one of these games? How can you even be upset? Oh, we've got Omnath, Terror, and two mana fixings in the opening hand. We're keeping. Key to the Archive on turn... four. It's gonna be good. Oh, and we got an Ornithopter? Heck yeah. Now we can key to the Archive on turn three. What do we get? Doomblade, Demonic Tutor, Growth Spiral. Doomblade? Discard a card. Um. Would you mind moving your host window to the left somewhere since it's where your non creature perm. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Shit, sorry. I'm gonna give this guy a chance to play, and then we'll do that. Oh. Should I be, like, up? I never know where to go. Would it bother you if I, like, blocked my deck and or 
Graveyard? Or does that matter? Usually I'm like down here. But I could always be over here. Go to the left in the middle. Oh, like over my pet? Or bottom right. Yeah. Alright, well let's wait till the next game starts and then I'll take a look and see. Geralt. Um, I'll see. Most are left mid or bottom right. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people have green screens and I've been really enjoying not having a green screen and not having to worry about it. That's a keep right there. Oh wait, we can't play Elvish Mystic. We can with Ornithopter though. So if I go up here and like just block my pet, or maybe I should be like up here and block their pet. That's gonna block Planeswalkers though. Uh, not that. What are we waiting for? Oh, them. Yeah, no worries. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Come on, I just want to play this weird deck. Alright, sad that Final Fantasy VII music has to go. Cultivate. Um. Do we want a three mana find of land? Sure. Sure. I could do to like make my camera a little bit smaller as well, but. I find that uh, I like my background so much that it's very hard for me to make it that much smaller. Let me know if this is a good spot. I don't know if we're going to get to play much in this match, but... Uh... I just want to play... Ornithopter of Paradise, go! I mean, this person's two turns behind. You just concede anyway, even if they showed up. I like this little pet, this little robot from Brothers War. You like this spot better. Okay. Okay. I could go really small and just like make my camera this big and be down here. Hello. Well, that's an easy way to get two wins, I guess. I mean, it doesn't speak volumes that uh, when I do get to play this deck, I lose. When I don't get to play it, I win. But who knows? We got a Mind Link mech. They're just handing us blue card after blue card. Do we only get to do this once? 
we can't uh, concede our deck and start again. You'll check. You'll check what? If you can do it more than once? I think we Temple of Malice turn one. Oof. Looks like it's just one free. Okay. But you can, oh, you can keep playing with this deck for as long as you want? That makes sense. Um, let's explore. Otherwise you gotta pay, right? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Paradise Druid. Thief of Sanity, okay. When it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player. Okay, no. Um. Wait, how does this get cheaper? X is the greatest power amongst creatures you control. Oh. Um, okay. Let's do one blue and one white. Put one of them onto the battlefield. Okay, chances are they have removal for my druid. Soul herder, okay. And we get a champion. Herder is scary, yep. I don't have the removal for it right now, though. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, choose two. I think we do. Discards a card. You get the feeling it has. Okay. That's a good feeling, I think. They do have five mana open, so. Ephemerate. Gotcha. Good card to have with Soul Herder. Uh, we're going to do Champion. That way we can cheat out Cavalier next turn. Damn. Damn. That was crazy rude. Crazy rude. Okay, I like this little robot from Brothers War, but it is making a lot of noise on its own. Okay. I just want to play this deck. I just want to play. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, actually, wonder why he quit. Yeah, probably just wasn't getting the right draws. Um, claim prize. We got a crew captain card style. Uh, let's play one more. One more for shits and gigs. And then I wanted to see if I've got the right amount. I I want to try and put a Johnny 
in my Finn the Fangbear Explorer deck. Um, so we're going to do that. So turn three, Chromatic Lantern. Turn four, Cultivate slash Rip Apart. Oh, nice. Okay. So now we could turn three, Cultivate. If we wanted to, oh, braids. Great. Um, I think we keep hold on to play with fire. Play the namesake of the cube. Let them. Get their three damage in. Rafine's Tower and Red. Hello. Nice. I mean, you sack your lantern, I'll sack mine. Do it. I dare you. I double doggy dare you. Nope. Nope. Um, okay. So they have two mana open. I think we just have to try to kill the braids. They don't have any counter magic. Okay. And then we... Is Selvala or Cultivate the better play right now? Actually, we can't play Crater Hoof next turn anyway, so... Let's Selvala, and then we can... Oh, they have Interaction. They have interaction. Nice, okay. Okay, that's fair. I killed their thing. It's only fair that they kill my thing. A swamp. A swamp. So now we cultivate and we lantern. Next turn we behemoth. Spara's headquarters, nice. Actually. Because we have Lantern down, maybe we just play the blue and hold back headquarters for, uh... Don't do it. Oh, Okay. Can hold back headquarters for the cycling. We have three, four, five, six, seven mana. That's pretty good. So we definitely play with fire. Fight with fire, sorry. The murderous rider. Resolve. And then we raise boar. How much mana did I say we have? Seven? We might need to play the headquarters. 
We might need to play the headquarters. Don't kill my boar. Don't do it. I'm just going to put it in my library again. Oh, no. Now we have to play this as a land. And an ornithopter. We played Omnath, folks. Goal of the deck achieved. Omnath about it. We did it. We did the thing. Julie, the thing. Julie. Eruption? No. Um, you may put it into the battlefield tabs. Okay. I mean, that would have been better with the uh, Omnath on board, but... Uh... They need to put their removal somewhere, right? Keys to the archive. Okay. Claim the firstborn. Mana value three or less. Demonic tutor. What? Oh. Damn. I totally forgot that I had to get rid of one. Oops. Sedgemore Witch. And they are... What? Oh, that's an arena card. Yo, tear the peaks for free. More like free of the peaks. Oh, that was pretty fun. Oh, uh, this deck is silly. All right. Well, at least we're getting win bonuses. So, I don't think I have any packs to open. Okay, so there's no way to like bow out of that and start a different draft. I guess if you had multiple uh, accounts, you could, but they have a pay one for 4k gold. Yeah, but it's still, um, it's still phantom, even the paid one, but well, I don't want to pay into it. I'd rather do normal drafts if I'm going to do that. Like a premier draft is what, 1500 gems? And you get to keep all the cards, like, I want to keep the cards.